Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Interstellar Transport Company, episode two for our series here on Unfair Difficulty. And the last time we left off, we had gotten pretty much everything set up and ready to go for our first trades to come through as we move goods here between Earth and Luna. Now, the AI is clearly, uh, looks like they might be outdoing me here. We could probably actually take a look at, it would be in the reports. Well, actually, it looks like everybody's doing absolutely awful, but I'm doing the least awful, so I feel a lot better. In fact, I'm, I'm actually doing better, so um, what, what do we need to do? Well, we need to get some stuff moving, some more ships. Somewhat hesitant to get another one up and running, but... Let's just go ahead and do it. Now, we could get another one just like this one. This one hasn't even started. It's pretty sure I had, but I guess not. Well, good. So that means I'm going to make a lot more money. This is making profit 23. And this one will make a lot more than that. So now I feel a lot better. 900. So we're not making a whole lot there, but the journey back has proved to be pretty profitable. Let's go ahead and get another ship. I want to get another uh, doing 909, but this time I want it to have lots of machine storage. So it's going to bring machine from Earth and then it's going to pick up some rare materials and some raw materials. We can set it up. No, we want to give it a different route. So let's do that. Okay, maintenance at gate, that's fine. All right, we need to get a new route that means, right? So we can change it up a little bit. So let's do a route. This one we're gonna change then. We'll just call this Earth Luna um, Supply Basic. And we'll make another route. And we're gonna do Earth to Luna. And we'll change it. Um, um, we'll just put M for machinery, I guess. Because it's going to be mainly a machinery route. So, still from Earth, we're going to be bringing it. So, we're going to be bringing machinery from Earth, which we've got a little bit of. But Luna doesn't have any machinery. They're going to want some. Or they're not producing, or they're not using much. Either way, I know that they, they mentioned they wanted machinery. So, we're going to... Earth, we're going to bring machinery, so we'll just put, pick up none for all of these. Well, you know what, actually, it could bring machinery, but we could bring some other stuff, right? So let's just put, pick up none, but then I believe the ship's going to be, let's pause for a second so I can look at the ship. Machinery, but we can bring some food. So, or consume some consumer goods. So, let's not pick up anything but consumer goods and machinery. Then once we get on Luna, of course, we want to pick up everything. Let's see. We don't want any of this. We do want rare resources. We don't want machinery or liquid, but we do want raw material. There we go. So that's all set up. We can unpause it and let everything keep going. I just wanted to unpa or, uh, pause it so I could check it everything. 30,000, this one's still a maintenance, holy crap. Let's go ahead and assign it a route right off the bat. We'll do this one. There we go, heading back out and about, so they're going to be making some goods there. The spaceport in Luna has been upgraded. Nice, so as more stuff come in, more stuff gets upgraded. Let's go ahead and probably lease another gate, right? Imagine. Well, we don't have a whole lot of ships coming, but we're gonna, so let's just get a second gate going. 
Probably should purchase our second one on Earth. Well, geez, it's a little bit more expensive for that. Let's launch our next ship anyways. So we can start getting profit from that start. And see how that goes for us. I think that's the ship right there, bringing some food. That was a good nail. Wow, machinery gonna do it for us, I guess. Um, yeah, so let's get our second gate up and running. It's gonna cost us a lot, but a subsidy of premiums being offered for colonists delivered to Luna. While I'm not as concerned about colonists, the planet is doing very well. Large, rare resource mine. You can see that we can build all sorts of stuff. We can subsidize stuff. We're a little bit far out from doing that, but that's all stuff that we're going to eventually get into. So the machinery ship was a good idea. We've got two spaceports on each. I'll probably go ahead then and get another machinery ship going here in a second. I just want to see where... Where the ship is that's doing that. It's not this one here. This one's bringing food, some consumer goods for 2000 That's still pretty good. How are they doing here now? Yeah, they've pretty much turned everything around. They're doing very well. Rare resources is definitely helping. That was nothing. I need, I need much more uh, larger profits than that. I was almost out of it. They're starting to get up now. Okay, maintenance is in transit now. Where is my machinery ship? Production plus 14. I guess I just don't have the ability to move. Or it's not producing enough for me to be able to move it. That's got some rare resources and consumer goods. That was a good amount. Okay, there we go. All right, let's see what we can get here. We should have an office already. Yeah, or well, we've got a large maintenance shed. Okay, I guess we don't. We could get an office here. Oh, just not safe with our office. Planetary company reputation. I'm not sure if I want to get an office up yet. We could start getting stuff going with Mars. That's something we haven't done yet. Other people are doing. How much does it cost to do that? 4,161, then 138. Okay, let's accept that and get our first route going here. They need food, they need water, they need consumer goods, all of the basic stuff. So let's go ahead and make another route. This one is going to be from Earth to Mars. And we'll just do the basic trading of goods back and forth. They're not really producing anything yet here, but eventually things like rare resources would be pretty useful. They need machinery. So getting another machinery ship going would actually be pretty useful. Um, I guess I could spend the money. I might as well. This doesn't hurt. It definitely doesn't help just sitting on the money. So, might as well spend it while I've got it. And this is going to be a different route. So, let's go back into here. Earth, Mars, direct. So, from Earth, we're going to bring pretty much everything except for rare resources. Um, no, we do want that. Um, no raw materials, none of these, and then on Mars, I'm not bringing any consumer goods, any of those. I will take rear resources, no machinery, no liquid, pretty much everything else I'll keep activated. There we go. 
Whoa, natural disaster on Mars. 281,000 people killed. That's a lot. That's a lot of people. Um, okay. That's going to launch when? We've got 11 more days. We'll go ahead and throw them on the Earth Mars direct, not the... It's not the name, that's not what I want the route to be called though. It's gonna be Earth, Earth, Mars, Supply M for machinery, because there's a focus on machinery there. A new starship, the Space Bus D520, is now available for sale. So another ship coming out here. We could take a look at it. 149,000. I could get some Space Bus and get some business class, coach class seating and get some seating going. It would be a good way to get things rolling. We won't be doing a Monopoly here, just kind of playing it uh, as needed. Um, trying to just move as many goods as possible. We know that. We know that Mars is going to need colonists and Luna is going to need some more colonists or citizens, I guess we can call them, or pops, especially because Mars just lost a huge, I mean, their their economy is completely destroyed now. They actually have a large supply of water, if I'm reading this correctly. They still need food and they still need machinery. And they need colonists because they just lost a ton of them. A lot of a larger travel there, so this is obviously like your quick money. As you can see. Take a look at finances. We are profiting a little bit here, which is good. I'd like to keep it that way. Take a look at reports. I just want to see if we can break up. A couple companies coming close to doing it, and then they lost it again. We're dead neck even right now with those guys the biggest thing is i want to see how much profit we make off of this and then i'm going to decide whether or not i want to start get uh start to get people moving which i think is going to be pretty important seems not bad Didn't any, make any profit, but the trip back should be worth it. Whenever I get machinery, it helps too. Okay, let's get some business. Let's get some ships going that are going to move people. So Space Bus D500. Food delivered to Luna. We're already doing that. Um, Yeah, so people. Uh, we could get the... No, we're not going to get the bigger ones. So, coach class seating. That'll obviously take up most of it. We'll put a row of business. And then all first class for the rest. Okay, put that in no route because we're going to have to kind of mess with that a little bit. Oh, we could take some extra stuff with this if we didn't want to take so much coach class seating. Ah, we'll just leave it the way it is though. Order. Okay, so now we're going to have to let money build up for a bit because that's that was a definitely a big one. A big purchase there. Now, if I take a look at these, they should already be set to move people. They are, and they've got the ticket prices set up for me. But why don't we make a whole new route because that's just easier for me to manage it myself. I like to do it like this. Let's move people to Luna and just do that and see how it goes. So we're going to go from Earth to Luna and the only thing we really need to do is just decide how much we want to charge on tickets both ways so I'm thinking from Earth um, let's stick with these prices and we can mess with them once we get a baseline for how it does so Earth Luna we're not gonna call it supply though we're gonna call it Earth Luna Express Oh man, the colonist subsidy was ended on Luna, so any money we might have made just got cut in half right there. Go ahead though and make sure this is ready to go.
there. And once it's built, it's built. We got eight more days. And it looks like we turned over a pretty good profit. How are we looking here? 30 days. Um, just because that ship built not too good, but that'll change here. So that means bouncing back to the report. And we'll speed this up a little bit as we wait. Oh boy, I want to see if we're going to be the first ones to break up on over that. Okay, new space bus has been delivered. Let's just go ahead and start it. There we go, and we'll see how it does. Looks like we're already turning over good profit there. Oh man, pirates attacked one of the ships here. Okay, we're still not breaking even, but finance-wise, we're doing great. 28000 so we've made enough in profit now if we want to get another ship going. Get some colonists transported over to Mars. I think that's a good idea. We've only got sh one ship running to Mars. This is bringing a huge load of machinery. That should be a pretty big load here. Spaceport on Mars has been upgraded. Good. We need to get an office up. Let's go ahead and get another... Another passenger ship. I'm gonna order a duplicate ship, but this time we're gonna put it on no route because we're gonna make a Earth to Mars Express. Earth to Mars, and everything else can pretty much stay the same. We just need to name it. There we go. And that's what this next ship's going to be. And it's not going to be a, too profitable simply because it's flying so far away. But the ones that are transporting machines are really making a lot of money. Or the, the one that is doing it. This one's not doing it. So it's not turn, turning over nearly as enough. The passenger ships are doing really well. The one to Mars is just killing me though. The, the actual... But we'll see how it does. If it, We can always come back here and look at these. And the ones that aren't profitable, we'll switch up the routes. You know, or put faster ships on if we need to. Whatever we got to do. Yeah, Earth Mars Express on this one. Okay. And it's launching immediately. Good. The passenger ships seem, seem to be doing all right. Let's go ahead and get an all. Um, we want to get set up here. We can go to Luna. See, I'm taking up these gates for the most part. I might need one more. And then... We can go ahead and get some a local office if you wanted to. Security service, taxi service. 85% of base loading, unloading time for all of your ships docked at this planet stacks with your other taxi services here. So, you know, I don't know if I want that actually. I don't think I meant to build that. First I thought I didn't, but that's not gonna help me. I'm only moving a little bit of people here. Well, you know what? Actually, we'll get it. We'll keep it there. We're turning over money pretty quickly now. We could go ahead and set up at another planet if we wanted to. Let's see. What do we want to do here? Probably want to get a local office building on Mars if we can. Or a maintenance hangar. Maintenance hangar I would want to put on Luna. We should get a we should get a maintenance hangar on Luna. Well as we can. I don't know if I want to put it here though, if I want to put it on Mars. We're so close to Earth here, it seems silly to put a maintenance one there. Yeah, I think that's a bad idea. If I put one on anywhere, it should be Mars. 
So let's get a maintenance hanger on Mars. Finance-wise, we're actually doing pretty good profit, even though I'm pretty much throwing money out the window right now, doing getting different stuff. All right, let's take a look at the ships and see who's profitable, who's not. This ship's pulling in a ridiculous amount of money. These ones are good, too. Eventually, these are going to be old enough they'll need to be replaced. They start to break down more. These ones haven't even made their money back yet, but we'll see. This one's not doing too bad moving people around. Oh, somebody's sending rockets off. A lot of rockets. Somebody bought something here. Machinery in high demand. I can't even bring anything to there yet. I could launch... Yeah, they're launching sparrow rockets full of machinery. Can I... Let's see. If I go on Earth... Sub subsidized machinery factory. I'd love to get more mach I'd love to get more machinery made. What I wonder if I picked a planet and I just was like this is the planet I'm going to build machinery at and I focused on that. It was Luna. Even Luna's got it's got rare resources, a very small supply of it. Still demanding a lot of machinery which I'm delivering. Um Mars. I could build ships on Mars, throw an office on here. Oh, uh, we gotta get we gotta get Mars kind of looking good here first. Venus is an eighty-two percent rare resource availability. What's Mars got for that? Zero percent. So Venus, Venus is where we want to. We can subsidize a colony here. I think I want to subsidize a colony on Venus because it's got rare resources, right? So then I can get like, what I'll do is I'll get machinery produced here and then I'll ship the machinery off and then that'll be our main focus. So eventually I'll change out all these ships and just move around machinery because machinery is a huge profit maker for starting up planets. I mean, that's turning over a ridiculous amount of money compared to everything else. 450,000 those, not what we can afford just yet. But we're going to keep turning everything over like that. Okay, so we are out of time for this one. I'm going to go ahead and pause it here. So far, pretty good. If we take a look at the finances, I mean, we're well over for profit. Doing very well. So, yeah, that's very good. And then taking a look at the reports. Ah, yes. Okay, so Esta busting right through on their uh, operating profits. Which is good for them. I'll be busting through here soon. So I'm already technically in second if you look at it that way. Income though I would be in last. But my operating costs here are coming pretty good. If I can keep that low that's great. But yeah income I'm definitely the lowest for income right now. And company net worth the same thing. But we'll work on that next time as we try to expand. And then yeah I think working towards machinery is something we're going to want to do. But. Thank you guys for joining me. I do hope you've enjoyed this one and I look forward to seeing you next time.